Hey, hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. So here we have a continuous PDF, continuous because we have and we have two random variables which are continuous. This is the joint PDF function. What we notice is that the variables, the limits of them depend on each other. So x is between 0 and y, so upper limit of x is y, whereas y has a lower limit of x and an upper limit of 2. I want to find the marginal distribute uh, p. Oh, let's use the right word. I want to find the marginal probability density function of x, f(x), and then the expected value expectation of x. But I'm going to focus here on in this particular video on this guy here. All right, I'm going to do it in some detail. First, recognize that this is a function of two variables. So we can have an axis for x, an axis for y, and then a third axis for the output, can't we? f. So uh, let me attempt to draw it. No apologies um, for my drawing. Uh, x, a corner for x, corner for y. OK. 0, because they've both got to be bigger than 0 here. Um, upper limit could be 2. And that will happen when y is 2. How about y? 2. What? OK. And then, what does this, where is this kind of, what is that region? Well, it will help us if we plot just here x equals y. And I want to plot the region where for which this holds. So, um, so basically, it's going to be a triangle. Now, is that triangle going to be there, or it's going to be here? Is it going to be? Or it's supposed to be perpendicular. Let's go here. Is it going to be this thing, or that thing? Well, if we look at this thing, given any value of x here, y can take all those values. So obviously, then y is bigger than or equal to x, equal to x when you're on that line. So in other words, that's it there. It's like a pizza slice, isn't it? Or a cake slice, depending on what you like to eat. I'm going to say sushi slice, but no, sushis don't come in that shape, do they? Right, F up here. And there's a value of half somewhere up here. And what this is saying is that this is a surface of a pizza, whatever it is, up here. Right, so think about this and shift it up by a half. And if you can do that, because my drawing is not going to be good enough, probably. Let's have a look. Can I even a kind of... Oh, does that look right? Oh, oh it looks like ice cream bar. Let's see. Uh, is that right? No, that looks... Anyway, you've got the idea. It's got to look... Have one more go. Something like that. That goes to there. That goes to there. This goes to here. Right, it's like a gatto slice. Cake slice. Sponge cake, right. So the actual function is the shaded region in pink. That picture's, you know, if you could get that in your head, then great. Now, great because then you'll see what we're actually doing when we get in the marginal PDF for x. Okay, so I want to find f of x, but I'm only giving information about the joint. So we know that it is this: the marginal for x may be obtained from the joint by integrating out respect to y, like that. And um, if that's not clear to you, think about it in terms of. Uh, when we did summations, think of x and y, uh, and remember that we could put the table that values in the table, and all you're doing is summing across values of rows or columns of y to get the marginal for x. But we're integrating here because x and y are continuous. Okay, well, um, you're integrating over y, so what can y be here? Well, y can take any values between x and 2. Why don't I put 0 here and 2? It's because 
this is the marginal. It's got it's a PDF for a given input x, right? Whatever that input x is, a function of x. So we don't know what that x is. All we can say it's x, and all we know is that y has got to be bigger than or equal to it, and that's why we've got to put it there. If you made the mistake and just put zero of the lower limit there, what you're going to get is something. You're going to just get a number, aren't you? That number is not going to depend on x, and that kind of gives you a clue that you've done something wrong. Although if um, the thing is a uniform distribution, then it will be just a number. But um, yeah, so just bear in mind that's what I've done here. Now the computation of this thing is pretty straightforward, but let us do it anyway for practice. So put in f of x, which is just a half, dy. Integrate this thing with respect to y. So it's y, a half y. Calculate over 2 and x. And you can see that you're going to get uh, 1 minus half x. Um, don't stop there though, that's not a full answer. You've got to specify for what values of x. For x between, oh, I really shouldn't be scrunching this in the corner. Let's, this is, let's write it properly. For x between, 0 and 2. Well, you might, some of you might be saying, well, why not between 0 and y? Well, no, this function depends on x only, so it doesn't make sense to put a y there. All right, so it's over all regions. And in a graph I'm going to show you now also, then you can see why more clearly it's got to be between two values. As a rule though, yeah, this thing has got to be between two, it's got to be numbers involved here for x. It can't be depending on another variable. Quite clearly, uh, this thing here looks like, if we draw the, if I ask you to draw the marginal, it starts at maximum 1 and straight line down to 2 with a slope of minus a half. Yeah, because that's a form of a straight line. Right, finally, for this uh, bit of the video, I want to look at a geometric interpretation of this thing, uh, connecting these two together, and it's going to be nice. Okay, not as well, nicer than uh, nicer than uh, cake anyway. What this says here is that for a given value of x, you are integrating this function for um, for y ranging from x to two. That's what it says, isn't it? I'll say it again. For a given value of x you're integrating from y, which ranges from x to the value of 2. So let's say we, this is the x-axis here, let's pick x to be this point here. Right, that's x equals y. But you're going to do it for that x all the way to the y is equal to 2. In other words, that line there um, of this function I of that height there so can you imagine I have got if I can imagine a sheet of anyway it's a kind of a sheet isn't it a sheet of paper or something I don't know there and you've just got that much of it a sheet of paper okay um, or yeah and what are you so that's what it is for a given value of X now use your imagination a bit. What can you see about this sheet here as I slide from x0 all the way x is 2? Can you see that if I slide it towards 0, I, this sheet's coming towards us, that the area is getting bigger and bigger and as I shift it away from us, shifting it towards 2, um, following this triangle, just as the area of the triangle is getting smaller, the sheet is going to get smaller as well. Isn't that reflected in here? That this point here is this sheet here, the whole thing there, and when you get down to the pinnacle there, it's just nothing. And it's sliding along, and it's getting smaller and smaller, and that's what this is doing. So that's the relationship between these two, and that's great. Well, I hope you really see that. Okay, um, I'm checking out, so have a nice day.